So just a couple of notes regarding the stealth. Um, so I did the first boot up. I've booted it a few times to see how fast it boots up. It's slow, doesn't run well. Um, boot screen shutters a few times when it displays while it's still booting up. Cortina is telling me that she doesn't speak English. I need to choose a language she can use. Head to settings. Obviously English is already chosen. There are no options whatsoever. So that's a problem. Once I do actually get to the desktop after it's booted, wait another second or two and Razer Synapse pops up. So it's definitely not instant. Again, just a demonstration. There's nothing running other than what was originally on the computer. I'm not sure what these logos are all for. Um, don't really care at this point. Now, looking at battery life. So I charged this unit for three hours last night uh, and then I booted it up today. Upon first boot up, I was told I had 3% battery, less than five minutes remaining. So I plugged it into the power a few minutes ago and I'm up to 8%. Clearly, there's something wrong with this unit. There's no reason why a full charge would die in the boot up process, even if it was working at 100% for an hour straight, it still shouldn't die within an hour. So I'm going to do a factory reset, which was suggested by Razer support on the phone, which is incredibly disappointing. Obviously with SSDs, the one and only way they wear over time is by um, removing data and putting data back on them. Um, it won't make a difference, I'm sure, in my lifetime, but it is annoying when you buy a brand new item that I have to wipe and reinstall Windows. Finished. So the instructions from Razer were to turn on the unit and press the F9 key at a rate of 1.5 times per second. So very quickly until the boot menu comes up and we're going to select recovery. There we go, entering recovery mode. I guess I can stop pressing that button now. Um, the email that I got from Razer was explaining how to do the recovery on a standard razor blade, not the stealth. And for a Windows 8 computer, not Windows 10, which this is loaded with from factory. Start recovery. It's also told me it can take up to 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes, we'll get back to this. I'll show you where we are and hopefully all of the factory settings and bundled software and whatnot are all there. And I hope the computer decides to boot up quickly the next time it needs to boot up. Again, this is my Australian delivered Razer Stealth Ultrabook. Uh, I did the first startup today, which failed even after a couple of hours. Once it did get going, there were some obvious things wrong with it. Um, it was quite slow. The trackpad was definitely acting weird. I wasn't sure if I was using one or two fingers, so scrolling was difficult even in the setup process. Anyway, I've taken Razer's advice and I've started the computer in a restoration mode, restored the computer or Windows and the software, which is supposed to set it back to factory settings. So let's see how that went. It's still plugged into the power outlet. As before, the power was down to 3% somehow. Not sure if that was a software or a hardware issue. Uh, so it's been about 10 seconds of um, getting devices ready, getting ready. So it looks like it's doing something. The boot menu from the top left corner has disappeared. Should start like a new laptop. So we'll get it all the way through to we're on the desktop. So that's logging in the accounts and all that jazz. This is my first Razer computer. So it's a bit of a disappointment being a dud. But I think that makes for a better YouTube video.